it seems to me you have to have conviction mm -hmm. and, and say, I've got to accept this. The Marcus Lemon that was a high school star and drafted by the Rangers and the Marcus Lemon who's now in his second year with the Birmingham Barons, what's the difference between that guy? Experience? <laughs> um, I, I would say uh, the, the difference is I think, you know, when you're young, as confident as you may be, I, I think now um, I, I really go out there and just have fun as if I was in high school again. Um, and I just play the game and enjoy it because uh, at this point of playing so long, it, why not enjoy it and, and actually love what you do and smile about it and have fun when you get ahead or even if you don't when you're, your teammates, it's nothing better than celebrating with your teammates when you do good. When you ask certain guys about, well, what's the next step in baseball, it sounds like you're ready to retire them, and that's not the plan. Mm -hmm. But you have so much knowledge. You're an incredibly popular guy in the locker room, and obviously the White Sox thought enough of you to, to ask, come back and lead the locker room on and off the field. Mm -hmm. sure. Have you thought about the next step? Um, right, right now, for me, I, I'm just thinking about doing whatever I can to help the, the White Sox um, and, and going out there, whether it's being a shortstop, being in left field. I mean, right now, like today, if I'm in the lineup, then I'm thinking about how can I help us win. So um, I don't think too far ahead of that right now. It's just one day at a time. Okay. Yeah. What other things does Marcus Lemon like to do besides being here and smiling? And uh, <laughs> what are your pastimes, your favorite things to do? Um, off season, I'm, I'm big with my family. Uh, my little sister, is graduating her senior year this year, and um, she's getting ready to go to college to play volleyball. So I support her because her basically her whole life she's had to follow me around right. and travel baseball. Um, that and uh, besides spending time with my family, I like to paint and, and do some artistic things. So. Did not know that. Do yeah. you have any drawings here at the ballpark or at um, the apartment? Um, yeah, actually, I bring. I have canvases that I carry with me and and I use on the road and stuff like that. Just. Uh, mm -hmm past the time. I would like to see one of those and okay. we'll, we'll help promote it. Um, you have uh, been called by me the Rick Fox lookalike. <laughs> you are a dead ringer for Rick oh, Fox man. and you've heard that before haven't you? I have I have heard that especially when I've you know certain hairstyles you grow your hair out right. and it's curly and right. I've, I've heard that and and you know, if, if people think Rick Fox is a good-looking guy, then I'm not upset about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Played with the Lakers, had yeah, a pretty good right? career, yeah, models you know, and all that. Yeah. Hey, you could be A little worse. acting, too, you right. know, so right. that's, uh, okay. you know, I'll take it as a compliment. You will. Yeah. Good. Yep. All right. Uh, this is the world, the age, the day of social media. <clears throat> Where can people find you? You got Twitter? You got Instagram? Well, I just, just got a Twitter. Um, Get rid of it. <laughs> just, I don't even know what I'm doing, honestly. <laughs> no. But I, I, with with this day and age you gotta you yeah. gotta adapt Connect. to it so um i just got one and i have an instagram i don't use facebook but right. um so I'm, I'm trying to get into it you know right I'm trying to get to it marcus lemon our guest here on the baron spotlight you can watch this interview and all of our interviews all summer long just go to barons.com